When I started this makeover, the bathroom was a total disaster. The vanity was falling apart. We had popcorn ceilings. The fixtures were old. The bathtub was stained. There was no tile and the concrete subfloor was cracked. I was on a tight budget and had a lot to do, so I got to work sharing my progress with you all along the way. I've been trying to make it make sense, it doesn't. Saw something there when it wasn't. I've been lying to myself all that for nothing. All I got is this one thing. If I never love somebody now like I do, I do you Try and find out there's no room It was all for you and if I never love somebody now now I was finally ready to put the finishing touches on this bathroom. To go above the new bathroom vanity, I picked up this arched black framed mirror from Target. I found the center point of the wall above the vanity and I figured out how high I wanted the mirror to sit. Then I used the installation guide, drywall anchors, and screws that came with the mirror to get it hung on the wall. Next, I built shelves to go over the toilet using one 1x2 and two 1x4s. I lined all three boards up and clamped them together so that I could make just one cut per shelf. I measured and marked the boards at the length I wanted the shelves to be before using my miter saw to make the cut. I set that first stack aside, repositioned my clamps, and repeated those steps two more times to make a total of three shelves. Then I went over each board with a fine grit sandpaper to smooth out the surface. I laid the pieces out using a 1x4 on the bottom and the back, then a 1x2 on the front. This gives me a picture ledge type of shelf with a lip on the front that'll keep things from sliding off and hitting anyone that's sitting on the toilet. I ran wood glue along the back of the bottom piece, clamped it to the back piece, then used my nail gun to nail the two together. I did the same thing to the other side, running glue along the front of the bottom piece, clamping it to the front piece, then nailing the two together. I repeated those steps to assemble the other two shelves, then when I was done, I used wood putty to fill in those nail holes. Once the shelves were dry, I sanded over the wood putty to smooth it out before conditioning the wood, then applying three coats of stain and three coats of polyurethane, letting each coat dry in between. After the polyurethane cured for a couple of days, I drilled pilot holes into the back of the shelves, screwed drywall anchors into the wall, then attached the shelves to the wall with screws. Before moving on to the decor, I still had a few finishing touches to put on this bathroom. For the door molding and the floor trim, I used this simple two and a half inch primed MDF casing, cutting it to size, then using a nail gun to secure it to the wall. I filled the holes with wood putty and sanded it smooth before caulking the edges, then painting the trim, but unfortunately I didn't get the rest of that filmed. We turned the power off, then moved on to the fixtures. My spouse is an electrician, so I let the pro handle this part. He installed the new light fixture, which is a simple black pendant light with a rattan pendant shade. This pendant wasn't the right type to use with the shade, but the other one was out of stock, so we just made this one work, and I think it turned out nicely in the end. He swapped out the old beige light switch and the heat vent light switches for new white ones, then swapped out the old GFCI for a new one as well. He also installed the new heat vent light, then I installed the new vent cover. For the shower, I went with this matte black tension rod and these black double curtain hooks with roller balls that make them glide along the rod easily and won't scratch the finish. I hung the clear liner on the inside. Then for the shower curtain, I found this really affordable waterproof curtain on Amazon that actually looks and feels like real linen.
I picked up this bathroom accessory set on Amazon and a brass finish that matches the drawer pulls on the vanity. It came with a toilet paper holder, a hook, and a towel bar. I installed the toilet paper holder to the side of the vanity, then installed the hook on the wall next to the vanity mirror. I loved the look of the towel bar, but decided it wasn't big enough for all of our kids to hang their towels on, so instead, I hung up this accordion-style rack from Target that's the same brass finish as the other accessories. I found these beautiful vanity accessories at Bed Bath & Beyond on sale for 70% off, so I picked up the three-piece jar and tray set, soap dispenser, and toothbrush holder, and this brownish copper color for only $15. I set those items on the vanity, gathered the rest of the decor I had picked up for this bathroom, and started playing around with the placement. You never know how decor will work in your space until you put it all together, so I moved some things around and swapped items out until I had the look I was going for. In the end, I kept it simple, just using the pieces I had bought from Bed Bath & Beyond, a Dollar Tree vase spray painted with a stone finish spray paint, and a couple of faux eucalyptus stems. I picked up these frosted organizers at Target, and they come in either a two-pack of stackable trays or one tall organizer with a divider in the middle for a dollar. They're the same depth as the shelves above the toilet and worked perfectly for the kids to keep all of their toiletries in. In the top drawer of the vanity, I used Dollar Tree bins to keep their toothpaste and other miscellaneous items organized, then used the bottom drawer to store our tub of soaps and extra toilet paper. I also sat this wicker basket on the back of the toilet, which is the perfect place to keep things like air freshener, candles, eucalyptus oil, and Kleenex. These cotton towels with tassels were another Bed Bath & Beyond find that was 70% off. I love that the towels were the same linen color as the shower curtain, and the rust-colored stripes matched the vanity accessories perfectly. To finish this space, I added a couple of rugs to the floor, placing this cream-colored half-moon rug in front of the tub, and this vintage Persian-inspired non-slip rug in front of the vanity. I started this makeover with a vision and a tight budget, not knowing how it would turn out in the end. Now, looking back at the before images, I cannot believe this is the same bathroom. It turned out even better than I had imagined. If you missed any of the videos in the series, you can check out the full playlist linked in the description box down below. I've also linked all of the decor and other items used in the description box as well. Thank you all so much for watching, and until next time, you can check out one of these videos linked right here.